All right, guys, Gemini back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, in your house. In your house, wow. Uh, my memories of this. Uh, this is the DVD that came out, what was it, 2013. It was hosted by Todd Pettengill. Wow. Um, <clears throat> it all began in May of 95, May 14th, 1995, in Syracuse. Um, the, the WWF decided that they were going to be running more pay-per-views a year. Besides, at the time, they had Royal Rumble, Survivor Series, uh, WrestleMania, <clears throat> and SummerSlam. So the WWF decided that they were going to start up in their pay-per-views. So they started in 95. They started running pay-per-views in, uh, let's see, they started in May 95, and then they ran a pay-per-view in, in your house in July 95. September 95, October 95, so they increased their pay-per-views by four in 95. And then there was one, I don't know if I said this, I can't remember, but in December 95, so what, five? So they increased their pay-per-views like, what, nine, ten a year? Uh, the In Your House concept was crazy in 95 and 96. It was the exact same set every time. So if you go back in time and you watch In Your House uh, July 95, and you watch in your house September 95 and you're not really paying attention you don't know if you're on one pay-per-view or another literally because these pay-per-views look exactly the same they use the same house on the set for like two years and still until they started kind of mixing things up in uh, 97 and they even ran the same set in 97 like cold day in hell so we're up to like May 97 cold day in hell and then let's see you go June 97 King of the Ring July 97, you know, was, uh, um, I don't know, August, September 97, Ground Zero. I mean, they, they, they wore, uh, they wore the, literally, they wore the In Your House uh, set out. And it was never a, a good uh, value for the customers. The In Your House pay-per-views back in the day used to cost $19.99, and they would always promise you two hours. But they would always um, stop the pay-per-views at an hour and 50 minutes. So literally, you paid 20 bucks for an hour and 50 minutes of wrestling. Figure, you know, with the promos between matches and stuff, you know, you had, uh, you know, probably like 20 minutes. So you pay literally somewhere around an hour and a half of wrestling, you know, for in your house for 19.99. The first one, if you bought it, was 14.99. The rest from then on were 19.99. And if you were buying all the in-your-house pay-per-views, like I was in 95 and 96, you were really running your cable bill up. And these were not a good value for the consumer at all to pay for the in-your-house pay-per-views. Plus, they never had their own individual uh, VHS tapes. They were always like Spring Collision, what was it, Spring Collision, and they would always be like combined, combined um, into other... What was it Springs Explosion or something? Or you know, you'll have to look back at the VHS tapes, but you can never find, for instance, if you look on eBay or Amazon, you'll never find uh, April '96 Good Friends Better Enemies. That'll be comped into a, another tape. The In Your House uh, concept was just weird. You know, it was weird how they never changed it up from month to month, like July '95, September '95, uh, October '95 which was in Winnipeg, it was like Mabel and Yokozuna. You know, it It was a uh, Triple H and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, it was just, it was weird. The In Your House concept altogether was just a weird, weird time in wrestling. Uh, kind of a money grab by Vince, you know, to uh, kind of wear out his hardcore fans. But the In Your House, wow. I mean, I mean, yeah, you get some good stuff out of it. You get... Bret Hart matches, and you get Shawn Michaels matches, and Owen Hart matches, and Diesel, and Undertaker, and stuff like that, but for the most part, to pay $19.99 for an hour and a half of wrestling, I mean, I mean, you could go back, and you could, I, I think you can watch the In Your House pay-per-views on the WWE Network. I've never really looked into it. I've never really had a desire to go back and check out the In Your House pay-per-views. You guys, leave me your thoughts and your memories on the In Your House concept. Just kind of a straight, like, for instance, look. It, it, look, this is No Way Out, 98, In Your House. But it's like, why did they call it In Your House? You know, why didn't they just call it No Way Out? 
you know, it just, uh, like this was an in your house one too. Breakdown in your house. I mean, what, this was a rock bottom in your house. It's just, it's just a weird, fully loaded in your house. It's just a weird concept. A ground zero in your house. I mean, we, we, at some point Vince had to get away from the in your house stuff and just start naming the pay-per-views, you know, on their own. I mean, just, just weird. The in your house concept was just weird. Leave me your thoughts and your memories. Gemini, peace.